What is up, everybody? Quick, quick video on how to add your domain name, your custom domain name to your Kartra account. Um, this is super, super important, you guys. This is super basic, but at the same time, it's super important. Because as you, as you guys know, you know, some of you guys are with ClickFunnels, some of you guys are with lead pages, some of you guys are with Kajabi or even, or even Kartra. But when you sign up and you get your, your account set up, you have your username. So when you, when you register, you have a username. ClickFunnels, same exact thing. You have a, a quote unquote username and that username could be davidcantero3p.clickfunnels dot com that my, my my username is david cantero 3p that's the name i used to establish the account and that's the name the username that's going to be tied to all of my pages until i actually add my custom domain so in this particular case i'm working on a on a um, landing page for my cousin and this right here is a simple page but this right here would be the the url this is her username, rockstar.cartra.com forward slash page forward slash NJA9, right? So every landing page software that you could possibly use, same exact thing, right? You have your username and that would be the default URL. So what you have to do is you have to go and get your own domain. Go out there and get your own domain. I, I've been using GoDaddy for years and years and years. So GoDaddy is where I get all mine. Some of you guys might go to to, to um, um, name cheap. There's many different ones, right? But I've been with GoDaddy forever. And when you go through Kartra and set up the domain, there's instructions for for di you know many different uh, platforms, um, domain registers. So there'll be instructions for everything. But I'm gonna walk you through how to set up with with GoDaddy. And if you don't even have a domain yet, here's what you can do: go to Google and simply type in cheap domains and you're going to look for the GoDaddy one. GoDaddy, GoDaddy, this one right here. What I would do if I were you, whatever that domain you're thinking of, go and get the Gmail first. So go over here, establish a new Gmail account. So if you're already, if you're already on your homepage of Google, for example, if that's your, you know, homepage, Come over here, click on your little app, your little um, profile picture, and just click on add account. What I would do is I would set up a new email under that same exact do domain that you plan on registering. I would just set up a whole new use, a whole new email for it. This is just my personal preference, but just click on use uh, another account and then just click on create create account, and then just create that new email, and use that new email to come over here and purchase that new domain okay and you can get it for 99 cents okay so get that domain once you have the domain here's what you're going to do you're going to log into your Kartra and you're going to click this profile up here and you're going to see the drop down custom domains use your own custom domain brand all your Kartra links and pages with your own domain name this is exactly what you want Okay, exactly what you need. So it could be Kartra.com forward slash Kartra.com forward slash. So whatever yours is, this is how I have mine set up, right? I have mine, the social real estate agent dot com forward slash course forward slash book forward slash thank you page. You know, I have all these set up under one domain. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the domain to this page for the first time. We're going to click on domain, only the main domain. I'm going to go with that one. And this domain is going to be, um, and don't laugh, you guys, all right? Don't laugh, but this is my cousin's page. Let me go to her domains. And the reason why I say don't laugh, because the domain is freaking hilarious. Poofy Persian Power. That's the domain that she's running with. So we're gonna go and we're gonna type that in here, Persian, or what was it again? I already forgot it. Poofy Persian Power. Definitely a chick page. Poofy Persian Power.com. 
Okay. So poofypersianpower.com. This at this favicon, you want to add that as well. So you, you see up here on the GoDaddy one, it says products, the little the little logo of the goofy guy right here with the spiky hair. That's a favicon. You want to add your favicon as well. So let me pick a picture real quick. And that favicon, you want it to be like your logo, you know what I mean? Like, she doesn't have a logo yet, so I'm going to just simply um, add just a random image that she sent me. Dang it. My bad, guys. Hold on. Okay, so this one right here. You made a sale. You made a sale. You made a sale. Damn, I love those emails. Okay, so I'm going to just simply grab. Actually, you know what? Here is a Amber Fleming. I can maybe take that and add that to her logo. So I'm going to take one of these over here let's take this one right here we're going to take that image and we're going to add it to the favicon so right here we're going to add it here click on the edit and we're going to grab that one right there bam confirm there's our favicon so now when people go to this website it's going to be a Karcher page this little picture will be in the space. See how Google has theirs right here? Kartra has theirs, GoDaddy has theirs. So let's hit next. Now, here's where it gives us the instructions, okay? So read the documentation, point your C name record to Kartra. So this is what we're gonna point it to, okay? Rockstar.kartra.com. For Kartra to plug right into your domain, you'll need to log into the service you purchased your domain from. Add the CNAME record and point it to rockstar.carter.com. Again, all the details can be found in our integration guide. So we get this right here, copy that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our domains, right? We got our domains right here and we're gonna click on the DNS, go to the DNS settings. And this is the C name that we're going to be editing, this www, the at sign. So we're going to hit this pencil right here, points at rockstar.carcher.com. We click on save. And then we come back. We can actually, we'll leave the forwarding for now. We'll leave that off. But we'll come back and then we'll click this button right here. Yes, I have completed the steps above. So we click on that, then we click on next. Okay, so this right here is telling us, okay, what, what is the main page, the index page? Okay, it's a Kartra page. We're gonna select cat category, it's a calendar. We're gonna select the page, it's going to be main product page. So that domain, which happens to be poofypersianpower.com, the main, main page, is going to be the main product page, okay? And then every page after that will be poofypersianpower.com forward slash thank you page, forward slash order page, forward slash 2020 calendar, you know, whatever it may be. You, you can build as many pages as you want around this one domain, okay? And that's what you're gonna do. So, Kartra pages, we'll just leave it at the same main product page. So that right there, we're telling Kartra, okay, point it there. Next, the domain integration process has started. It should be completed within the day. So we close this out, you guys. And from my experience, this normally happens fast. Um, 
it's processing, it's processing. Over here, we're fine in GoDaddy. We're fine over here. Now, what I can do as well is I can add a forwarding. So I can, I can forward it to this right here. Since this is gonna be the home page, I can also forward it there just for extra precaution. So let's forward it there. And remember, is it HTTP or is it HTTPS? Always make sure you know what, which one it is. It's HTTPS. So we'll come in here, we'll paste that there. We'll hit backspace and then we'll go permanent, we'll go forward only. We could go forward with masking. That would be good as well. So we'll go forward with masking, okay? So title will be Rami and Devi calendar, okay? Description 2019 Persian cat calendar. Keyword Persian cats, cats, cat lover, calendar. We'll leave it at that. Update my name servers and DNS settings and we'll just hit save. Okay, so we're good in GoDaddy. We're good with that. This right here, let's see if we're now connected. Let me, let me refresh this. It might take a little longer since it's a new account, but let's check it out. Refresh it. Okay, so we're still processing. No worries. Once that goes active like let me show you what it looks like so this is what it'll look like once it goes active let me log into mine okay so over here in mine custom domains that's what it'll look like when it goes active so it'll say connected okay so give it a few minutes you guys and then it'll be connected now you can connect that domain to every single page that you start to create okay so hopefully that brought value you guys like let me show you so this one right here look at this that one domain is connected to all of these pages all these pages are different things within my funnel okay so for example this one right here get link this is the link for this one. Look. Get the page link. There it is right there. The social real estate agent.com forward slash five basics OTO. Now I can always edit. So I can go right here and I can change that that five basics OTO. I can change that to whatever I want. Now, before your domain is set, before your domain is set, watch look. Let me now now here's what I want to do. Let me log back in. Let me, let me show you guys this real quick. Because this is, this is super important. This is super important. Um. Okay. So, let's take it let's check it out real quick. Let's see if If, if it's connected now, because I want to show you what to do next. Okay, so it's still processing, it's still processing, but here's what you're gonna do. You go to my pages, and again, every single page, so here's what's gonna happen. We click on that, we click on get code or link, 
So by default, look, this is what's going what you're going to see by default right there. What you're going to do once you, once your domain is is connected, you click on this edit URL and then you're going to see the drop down. You're going to see the drop down. That drop down will show your poofypersianpower.com domain. You hit the drop down, you click on that your your custom domain and then now you can edit this back end part, the forward slash. Now it'll be poofy persianpower.com forward slash thank you page or whatever that page may be right and then you hit the green one to save it okay that's what you do once you're connected so taking a little longer than normal but it's all good that's what what happens it said within the day right so it'll happen within within the day it'll happen sometime today and then we can just start building around that domain okay so Hopefully you guys saw, saw value in that. Again, if you haven't even set up your cart share, dude, what are you waiting for, man? A lot of you guys are following me, are on ClickFunnels, lead pages, all these other, all these other random freaking software. I'm telling you, man, do the damn 14 days just to compare it. It's a 14 day trial. It costs you a buck. Do the damn trial just to compare it to what you're doing. I guarantee you, man, it's night and day. All right, so link is in the description, profitwithcarture.com. I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out. Peace.